before another thought passes through you. <laughs> Senbon Zakura Kageyoshi. <laughs> interrupt our program to bring you this important message this is a call for an uprising welcome to today's show i've been talking about the national guard being brought in in mass to drive buses they're being brought in because of the school bus driver shortage because they made it mandated that the drivers got the magic potion and instead of going and getting it they decided <laughs> they're good to go and they all left their jobs now what you're seeing is potentially in new york city they've already threatened that they're going to bring in the national guard to work in hospitals to replace employees of that hospital nurses etc in new york who were forced today to have to have the magic potion or face termination and instead, what they did was they said, eh, I'm good to go. Bye-bye. Well, thousands of Southwest Airlines flights failed to leave the ground. If the NBC lady had not been there, you might very well have misheard what the crowd said. Watch. Oh, my God. It's such an unbelievable moment. Brandon, you also told me. I can hear the chants from the, the crowd. Let's go, Brandon. F Joe Biden, please come on, wake up America. That's like looking at the thriving, incredibly robust economy all around us and concluding there's inflation. Settle down, Vladimir Putin, that's ridiculous. What they said, and you could hear it very clearly if you just open your ears to the truth, is let's go Brandon. The NBC lady made that very clear. Not F Joe Biden. You know, we've had 43 resignations uh, Seventy percent of those are in clinical areas, um, and um, unfortunately, a, a number of the maternity nurses, you know, the professionals who do labor, delivery, and postpartum care are part of that group. So the maternity nurses all left. There'll be no more delivering babies in that hospital. That's happening in a lot of places, ladies and gentlemen, not just New York. Central Maine Medical Center is one of the biggest hospitals in the state of Maine. It just halted its pediatric and trauma admissions. You want to treat your child for a disease, you've been hurt in a car accident, you can't go there. Why? Well, they cited staffing shortages because of the vaccine mandates. According to a local news outlet, quote, the hospital is preparing to potentially lose hundreds of workers. So far, 84 staff members have resigned. The people of Seattle are about to confront a massive shortage of law enforcement officers. Why? You guessed it, Joe Biden's vaccine mandates. Already short staff, the Seattle Police Department is preparing for a potential mass firing of officers. Starting October 13th, the agency will move into what's called a stage three mobilization. What the department's manual says is reserved for scenarios that have the, quote, potential to cause significant harm property destruction, or widespread public fear. 354 sworn personnel had not submitted proof of vaccination as of Tuesday. That number dropped to 292 today. But still, that's more than 25% of all deployable officers. Pilots at Southwest Airlines are facing a vaccine mandate. They will be fired right before Christmas if they don't submit to medicine they don't want to take. A lot of them have already recovered from COVID. They don't need the vaccines but the Biden administration is forcing them anyway. And so this weekend, a lot of them didn't show up for work. That used to be called civil disobedience, but that's what's actually happening. That happened this weekend. Here are more lies about what happened at Southwest. I know there was a little um, hubbub over the course of the last few days uh, about uh, Southwest Airlines. We now know that some of those claims were absolutely false and actually the issues were uh, completely unrelated to vaccine mandates. 
And now they're talking about bringing in the National Guard, normalizing having this military state, because this is how you normalize it. Hey, it's just your local military armed guard driving your bus, kids. Hey, you're at the hospital. It's just military guys doing nurse, you know, checking on your vitals and, uh, you know, giving birth to babies, helping provide that. I mean, this is how they ease in a military state. In our Sunrise Live, a live look at New York City this morning and in the entire state of New York today, a vaccine mandate, dead, mandate deadline that could mean staffing shortages at hospitals. Today is the deadline for all healthcare workers in New York hospitals and nursing homes to get their first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. And the governor is preparing in case that mandate results in a staffing shortage. Governor Kathy Hochul says she's prepared to sign an executive order if needed to allow health care workers in other states and countries, recent graduates and retired health care workers to practice in New York. Another option includes deploying medically trained National Guard personnel. Oh, yes, these doctors and nurses heard conspiracies. So they decided all the years of education that they got was worth losing their job, worth hitting, the, you know, being unemployed and not being able to collect unemployment, despite how much money they put their taxes into, into a system that's supposed to provide unemployment. So my question is, why, why, if their doctors and nurses here are leaving their jobs over this, are they not educated enough? Are we only supposed to tr trust in the TV doctors who come out and tell us to take it? What about these people? Why are they not counted? Why is their opinion not counted? Now, back to our show. Too slow. It was a jump after all. Those same convictions. No one has ever cut through it, for it holds the strength of my will. Evil Iron Jail! Anyone holding back? Yes! Think fast! <laughs> Brace yourself! Dozo's magic creates a vast amount of mercury. Then hawk. This. Ah! <laughs> World Tree Magic. Interesting. Leave it to me. Normally, since he's constantly using a massive amount of mana, he can touch them if they're outside the vortex. Sinkanakishua is 